In this video, we're going to talk about Sprint PI Planning Board that is available in Structure Cross Team PI Planner. So you may recognize Structure from pretty, pretty good add-on that allows you to build kind of a data sheets with data coming from, from your issues that are really robust, they are really Excel-like. You can have your formulas there, calculate different stuff, display a lot of information. And from Structure Gantt, that on top of that puts additional features that allow you to do uh, project planning or portfolio planning, uh, mostly in waterfall approach. And that was a problem for some time because there was very little allowing uh, agile planning, agile management. So, structure some time ago, quite quite some time ago actually, uh, expanded and added additional set of features. Uh, it looks like a separate add-on, so this is called Structure Cross Team PI Planner. And within that, we will be focusing today on a specific board available there, or specific board type, called Sprint PI Planning. So, Let's have a look at that. This video is part of our effort to provide the best possible training around Jira, Confluence and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions. And remember, you can always reach out to us for one of our paid services like trainings, consultations or implementations. Okay, so if you have Structure installed, Structure cross team PI planner should be available over here. So as I mentioned, it looks like a separate app, separate add-on, but in reality, this is just a part of structure. So the moment you install structure, you should already get a cross team PI planner. And if you enter here, you'll see that I already have something, some board created here. So this is what you see when, when uh, you already have something, but if you won't have any board first time you access it, you will actually see something like that. So there are three board types to be picked. Uh, we will focus on Sprint PI planning. So I must uh, say right away that in my view, this, uh, this term or this name is a bit misleading. Uh, this is sprint planning, basically. Uh, PI, which would suggest, I suppose, program increment. That is a safe related term uh, for time boxes that are above sprints that can last several months. Uh, it doesn't really allow you to plan program increments. But for sprint planning, uh, this is pretty nice. Uh, you could have asked, Okay, but we have sprint planning already in Jira, so what, what, why should we use this one at all? There are several things that are way, way better than in Jira uh, that addresses some lacks of, of Jira boards, and we will cover them. So let's have a look first at how is it created. So basically, yeah, you can, it, it's pretty straightforward. You can select when is the start date. Uh, how long are the sprints that you will be working on? And for now, how many sprints do we want to create? So this is pretty, pretty straightforward. Let's hit next. And now you'll see that you can add the teams. So right away, uh, right away, you can see that there is something more than on Jira boards. On Jira boards, we did not really actually, we were not able to define teams. Usually Jira boards are created in a way that allow you just to one team to be working on. Uh, of course, you could create a Jira board that contain tickets from multiple teams uh, and each team would have their own sprint, but this is kind of a hard to use and hard to understand when you're looking at the board. <laughs> it just gets messy. So the most common use case that I see is that single board for single team. But this raise certain problems and consequences. So the most obvious is what if you have teams that have dependencies between one another, right? How to plan those dependencies, how to see them. This is something that standard Jira board basically is not providing. And this is one of our strengths of, of this app or this board. 
So you will be able to see on a single board multiple teams uh, and dependencies between them. So let's quickly, I will just uh, write something random here. So team one, uh, you can over here select the Jira board. So this app works on top of Jira boards, right? If you have teams that are already using their, bo their boards, maybe they are already used to that and they do not want to switch to other app like structure, you can still use that on top of Jira boards uh, or only, for example, to, to track dependencies and to make sure that they are respected. So we will see that in a moment. But yeah, we can select a board and then we will be able to map which sprints from specific board are one of our five sprints, right? Because we selected a step earlier when creating that there will be a five sprints. So I can select two of them, leave rest empty, and then structure will automatically create next sprint on these boards. Uh, yeah, so obviously multiple teams can use multiple different boards. If you have one board for multiple teams, it will be a bit tricky, but still there is a JQL over here. So you can narrow down tickets from your board even more. If you have single board for multiple teams, here you can write JQL query that will select only tickets that are relevant for this team. Estimation, so what, what is used for estimate, usually story points, we won't change that. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if I hit next, I would create the, uh, the board with this one team. Of course, I cannot multiple next ones. I won't do that. I will show you the board that I already have. So I'll cancel, cancel and enter agile planning board that I created. All right, so I have a board with two teams. Uh, you can see that these teams are basically separated by, by kind of a swim lanes, right? So I have red team and blue teams. In columns, I have five sprints that I created. So what is similar or what, what, what are the features that are basically the same that uh, are in standard Jira board? Uh, so obviously we have a backlog. Over here, it's on the left, on the right side. So I think it's a bit, bit more convenient than dragging something from the bottom, especially if your sprints are either kind of a long, have quite, quite a lot of issues in them, or, or you just have a lot of them. So you don't have to scroll separately here. Uh, you, can, uh, you can use this backlog on the side and search for the issues over here. Of course, you can just drag and drop issues and put them in specific sprint. If issue is estimated based on story points, which we, we selected and when we created the, uh, the board, you will see over here how many story points are in, in each sprint and you can edit what is the capacity. So let's put a five over here. Let's say that here we had some, I don't know, holidays or something mm -hmm. like that, 12 over here. So basically we are able to track uh, how many story points uh, are there left, how many more we can plan, and whether team is not over allocated. Of course, this can change from sprint to sprint, either due to uh, team uh, members who are off, for example, or maybe if team velocity increases, you can just put 13 in the next sprint, right? So this can be done separately for each team, so that makes sense. And yep, you will see uh, whether uh, you are above or below the, uh, the capacity. If you exceed the capacity, you will see uh, it's highlighted right over here. It may seem kind of inconvenient that you have blue team over here. It takes like a whole screen or more. You need to scroll lower to the red team. The same goes for the backlog. So you have separately blue team and lower red team. Uh, the great thing is that you can filter out that. So if I'm doing the planning for just a single team at the moment, I'm just enabling fi filter here. I'm just disabling blue team. You can see that now I have only blue team. I can do the uh, planning for, for this team. When I'm done, I can switch to red team and do the planning there. Now, I will enable all teams again. So that's that's the basic, right? This is something you would expect 
uh, for for sprint planning, and this is basically you can get all the same with pure Jira boards. But what is way better and way way uh, nicer is that over here you see the dependencies. These dependencies are represented on the issue level as links between those issues. Uh, and you can see whether they are respected or not. So you can see that there is dependency between issue AP50 and AP36. Uh, uh, they are planned in the correct order. So basically AP50 should be finished in the sprint one. So there should be no problems with delivering the next issue AP36 in sprint two. So the dependency over here is green. That's great. But over here we have dependency that's basically a broken or could not be respected because AP45 should be delivered before AP36, this is uh, 37. This is uh, the direction of the arrow. And you can see that the tool right away colors this dependency to show us that, hey, hey, something is wrong here. Probably you should pay attention to that and maybe replan it. So let's plan this to the earlier sprint. Now you can see that this dependency changed to yellow. So, okay, fails to change issue sprint. Probably there is some dependency on the board itself. Maybe the sprint is already closed. Uh, but you've seen that for a moment it was yellow. Uh, this basically said that, um, okay, in theory, we will be able to deliver both of them. But if this will be delivered too late in the sprint too, then we may be... Uh, not able to deliver this one, so there is a risk. Ideally, uh, ideally, it should be planned that everything is green. Uh, so you see dependencies here between issues, but also you would see dependencies between teams. So this is great because two teams can do their planning uh, and check whether there is no blockers with the other team. If yes, then they can talk to the other team. They know exactly which issue they are talking about and what would be the consequences of not uh, delivering the issue by the other team because they know they will, for example, have to wait two or three more sprints to deliver it by themselves. So just this dependency visualization is, in my view, uh, great uh, added benefit of this tool. Uh, very, very rarely I see, especially in the larger organizations, that teams are able to work in kind of a uh, not related uh, manner to any other team. They're just working on their stuff and nothing else interested, interest, interests them. Uh, usually there are dependencies that are a problem and normal Jira just does not provide us tool to easily uh, find them and, and address them. So this is a great added benefit. Uh, what else I wanted to show you here? So uh, yeah, over here you can see that we can display only specific type of dependencies. So if I will hide those, I will see only dependencies that are uh, basically that cannot be respected. And yeah, this is useful if you have a lot of issues with a lot of dependencies, it can get hard to read at the moment. You may be interested only in the ones that are really the problem and not all the others. So yeah. Okay, so let's for a moment talk about weaknesses of this view, right? So first of all, I already mentioned when we were creating the view that name is kind of a misleading because it doesn't really allow for program increment planning. And this is the first downside. So basically this is just for sprint planning. If you have a bit more robust planning where you need two levels, just this view will not do. Uh, there are other ways to do that, uh, both with cross team TI planner and just with structure, but which way would be the best is kind of dependent on uh, what is your approach and how you're doing the planning. So, uh, picking the right approach might be a bit tricky. Uh, you can reach out to us. We will try to help you uh, if you need that. The second downside is that, uh, yeah, if you have more complex setups in the meaning that you need to have a view like here where you want to see an overview for the teams 
uh, for sprints, but also these teams are co contributing to multiple projects and you need to see some kind of views that would show uh, status of these projects. Also, this is not something that can be achieved simply in this view. Again, we need to uh, use other tools, other features, and it, it might be the, the more complex. The setup of this might be more complex. Uh, but on the other hand, if for you just having overview of the team's several sprints in the future with dependencies is sufficient because your teams are just working on your sprints and, and you just need to manage that, then this tool is really great especially that you need to remember that this is just a small part of way larger and more, more robust tool. So uh, yeah, it's I, I think that this add-on is really worth it and it's a great tool, great expansion added uh, to structure. All right, so that's it for this video. In next one, we will actually continue to looking at the uh, cross team PI planner boards and types of the views that we can have here. So stay tuned for that. See you in the next video.